You wish to insert your video into this frame. However, this is the footage you've made, but it needs to look like this. So how do we solve this problem? If you've got a small studio, but you're using green screen, then this wouldn't be a problem. You would just go to the FX filters, use the Chroma Key Pro, and then use the masking tools to mask out the background and hence create the perfect background. The obvious thing would be just to resize it. So we're using the recite nodes here. And then we'd somehow try to fit it in here if we can. But if I drag this up, the aspect ratio is all out of whack and I just start to look funny. But we still haven't solved the original problem is that all this stuff on the site doesn't need to be in the shot. I basically want myself with a slight background and then fill that entire canvas. So how do we do this? Quite easy, actually. We simply just highlight the clip and we use the distort tool. And then we go into the crop mode. Look at that, it's so easy. And then all we need to do is cut out all the footage that we don't want. As simple as that. All we need to do now is go back into the distort tools, move it to where we think it should be fit nicely. Now you're thinking, oh, he's gonna distort it again. No, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just ever so gently place it in here so it starts to look like in the right place. Now all I need to do is fill in this side here and this side here and I'm gonna show you how I did that. First what I did, I just took a snapshot. So let's take a snapshot and now it's over here. Now what we're gonna do is bring that into the timeline and we're gonna go back to the distort tool. I'm gonna to go back to the cropping tool, the crop mode. And what I'm gonna do is basically crop this section in and then use that. As you can see, it's quite easily done. Oh, there you go. And there we go. So let's go back into the distort tool. And now we have a piece here that we can use anywhere. So I can drag that underneath the timeline like so, and then just basically place it in here to fill up the gap. It's almost like I'm cheating. This should be illegal. All right, so don't worry, you see how it's slightly off? All we need to do is just play with that until we get it right. And then I'm gonna show you how you can fix the actual balance so that it's not quite so obvious that this is a different color, but we're pretty close to it. Let me just do that. All right, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. To fix it, it's actually quite simple. Simply double click onto your still image. We'll go to the color tab. We go into the tone curve and all we're gonna do here is just gently adjust one of these until it blends into the right color of the picture that we have currently in the shot as well. So as you can see now, if we zoom in on that, hopefully it'll look good. So there you go. Now that line is completely gone. All we need to do now is basically replicate it on this side as well. Small studios, no problem. Using the crop tool. And as always, thanks for watching.